Greetings everyone, welcome back to Surviving Mars. It's been a little bit since the, uh, the last recording session, so I may be a little, may take me a little bit to catch up on what we were, were doing and what we've been up to. Um, we got to uh, hook this, this line up, once this gets built then this dome will be ready will be able to house people. Sector scanned. Um, oh, we got some new anomalies here. Uh, let's see, where is... Yes. Can we queue those up? Yes, I think we can. All right, so those are queued up. Uh, we have our map, yeah, map's still scanning lots of stuff. Um, well, that's right, we found out we could uh, fill this in last time. So that'll make this a lot easier to build on. Um, we may end up kind of, instead of having all this stuff scattered around the edge and built in here, we may end up just kind of having a bigger centralized survival center, I guess. Um, I guess we'll have to wait and find out. This is... I was saying there's no drones here. I think that's okay, though, because I think this works on its... I think we were able to research something to get that to work on its own. Yeah. Yeah, so these... Really, we want nothing there. I think something we're going to want to build here pretty quick, because as we start to expand, is going to be... The drone things, shuttle hubs, these. Uh, houses and refuel shuttles that facilitate long range transportation between depots and resettling colonists between domes. So I guess we can look at these grids here. Um, Uh, let's see, 15 power. Is that bonus power? Looks like it. Versus... Well, the fuel's already being generated over here, though. So let's we'll drop it over on this side of the equation. And there's more... It's more centrally located to more of our, our stockpiles that we kind of have just thrown around here. Blocking up. Uh, I think you just drop that right there. All of our little drones running around. So I think we found that this is going to be a, a killer research area. We got lots of research out here. There's more to the barren environs of the Red Planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Mm -hmm. Following texts have been revealed in the research screen. Earth, Mars, Initiative, and Martian Education. Is that these? Martian Education, New Building, Martian University. Uh, trains... Jobs, new new building, school spire. Oh, that's cool. Teachers' positive traits to children can give genius trait after upgrade. Oh, nice. Increases research provided by sponsor by 100. Okay, so we can... So that's just uh, increases our base level research. That's pretty good. I think we're going to leave them um, set up as, as it is for now. Let's go ahead and speed it up to speed 3 here. Building's not working. Yes. Yes, we know that. Okay. We need to get our people over here first. Uh, new anomaly. Awesome. We can get Wally to go check that out.
Almost done with the founder stage. Are low. Oop. Oops. Uh, looks like we're low on polymers. We are. Uh, let's see. Polymer consumption, maintenance. So we're consuming them, but we're not really making them. Is that... Is this a... Do we have a polymer... Uh, you... Polymer factory. So looks like we need to get our other... Um, our other fuel refinery down. Or we just need to make it work all the time. What is First this? colonists are all gamblers coming to Mars. It's the ultimate roll of the dice. Ah. Uh, they travel through 50 million miles to a rocky, inhospitable world and try and bend it to humanity's will. This person, on the other hand, also seems to be a gambler in the more traditional sense. Uh, we must not judge. On the contrary, we must be supportive and help our dear comrade who with whom we've traversed the void, spread, spearhead humanity's expansion on other worlds, only to find that we are no safer from the vices, from vices so earthly. It is as if we never left. Okay. No fuel for shuttles. Oh, we got a steam achievement too. So now with the shuttles, we're gonna want to really up our fuel refinery here. Uh, let's see here. We drop that there and then throw in some power cables. Maybe that's a bad spot because, oh, whatever. We can just run them around like that. How's it? How are we doing on water here? Water production three. Okay, so we're gonna need more water. Um, what do we got these guys doing here? Oh, they're they're running them over here. Okay, sweet. So we have all this water down here. Anomaly found. We've just found the wreckage of Phobos 2. Ooh. The old pro even had some new data for us to analyze. On July 7th, 1998, the Soviet Union launched two Proton K rockets carrying the Phobos 1 and the Phobos 2 probes on course to Mars. Of the of the two craft, only the Phobos 2 reached its final destination but contact with it was lost just before they could deliver its precious payload. Okay, so we have several new anomalies. Check the map for new location. Oh, sweet. So we can keep Wally nice and busy. Research complete. Okay. Milestone achieved. We just got a lot of stuff going off here. So we found those. So goal reward, three free, five free supply pods. Is that from having a Martian? Oh yeah, Martian born colonist. Cool. So it looks like these are our, our objectives here. Yeah, so this is going to be a while, but that's going to be pretty big. Uh, okay. Cool. This should be able to we should be able to do this pretty easily. Pretty easily, I say. 
For the first time, okay. a human has been born on Mars. It's truly a unique miracle. The colonists have always felt like a family, but what makes family stronger and more united is the promise of a new life and a better future. We have truly been blessed with a rewarding responsibility to carry the torch of hope. Let this blooming of life serve as symbols for all humans. Mars is no longer a dead world. The colony has been evaluated po positively and additional colonists can be called from Earth. Promising. So we got a Martian born, which gave us some science, which completed uh, soil adaptation produce food in large in-dome buildings which are is more work efficient and requires no power which unlocked new crops in farms and hydroponic farms that provide oxygen and improve soil quality that seems like it would be good um, a set of storages that can store a large amount of resources let's go and get the base just Plain old upgrade there. That's gonna be good to get to. We're gonna need that. We need all this stuff, man. It's all all beneficial. Okay, so we can get more colonists. Okay, so they finished that. Um I'm not scatterbrained at all, I don't know what you're talking about. So we can do more landscaping here. And flatten this out. Looks like it's easier to just do it one at a time. Uh, we can, but we can probably get it to flatten. Yeah. Well, well, we'll get them one at a time here, I guess. Um, I guess this is like a seam you can see there. Okay, so we still have low resources. I'm worried about water at the moment, and we have all this water down here. I'm wondering if we can... I'm wondering if we can start hooking up some of this water into like a network. Water stored in towers. Can drones... Um, so that tells us how we can construct them. Okay. I think we're going to want to, even though we're going to be able to produce some... I think we're gonna wanna request request a ooh, supply pod. What's this? Can I say polymers? So I can spend some money and get a bunch of polymers. Um let's do, let's get some more drones too. Yeah. See how that works here. Okay, so that's on on route. Um, you can probably you're probably going to be refueled here pretty quick, right? Yeah, you're fueled. Waiting to unload resources. So we need more food storage before you can. Oh no, they're getting food unloaded. We don't need more storage because our our uh, our shuttles are moving food around. Did I build a, another? I don't think another drone controller. I don't think I did. Where is this one? Drone hub. I must have. Yeah, there's another drone hub there. Until today, Ooh. the only place we thought you could find Ice 15 outside of a lab 
Oh, on sweet. An icy planet or a moon. And here we find it on Mars. Cool. Gotta love that. I moved him down a little bit to try and uh, service some of that project. Okay, let's check on people here. So we have got kind of a, some low, low comfort and morale here. So let's go ahead and see if we can, uh, oh, I guess we can't do it, look at both at the same time. So we need more shopping and we need some dining and gaming and so just general uh, hobby kind of stuff. How's this work? Oh, that's a, is that an entire dome? No. No, it's just a triangle. Um, okay. So I think on this one, we'll put a farm in. Not getting distracted at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, let's see here. Dome services. Uh, shopping and gaming. That, that would do it. Luxury and shopping. Polymers that we kind of need. Uh, da -da -da -da. That's a big one. So we could put a whole space bar in. Is that worth it? Relaxation, drinking, and social. Um, drinking. It's all the drinking person. But I think we do maintenance of two. Let's go ahead and just drop a space bar in and see how that does. So they can hold one more colonist here. So we got a research lab and two hydro farms. How's the how's the water level? going down so we gotta we gotta solve water um, I don't think I know how to build the moisture no I don't so we gotta okay so we're gonna want to take our uh, well, not the transport I guess the transport so we want drone commander. So where is the edge of this one? It's down there. Okay. Well, we have... See, we, we don't need food. We don't need rare metals. We can take concrete. And just say, take, hold 20 of each. Uh, let's see what we need for water extractors. We need... So we need machine parts. We don't need polymers or electronics or fuel or seeds. We'll try and keep 20 of everything else in stock. And we'll take Wally down here. And let's try and get a water extractor.
built the water extractor there. You see now we got our, our shuttles bringing supplies down. Nope. I think we might be able to get away with doing... Dropping that there. There it goes. Oh, so that just drops it and dies. Okay, interesting. Dispute. Uh-oh. An argument between an engineer and a scientist has escalated and is now the, the talk of the entire colony. The dispute which profession is more vital for the colonization effort has pol polarized colonists in two, in two different camps. You tried to avoid being sucked into this ridiculous debate, but were ambushed by representatives of both sides on your way to lunch. This is why you never eat lunch. Um, with your back against the wall, they ask, in your opinion, Commander, who is more critical for the success uh, of a colony success? Okay, um, the scientist's work enables the engineer to do theirs, the scientist get morale, so, okay. I'm just gonna say that it's ridiculous, both roles are vital, because it's true. We need both people. Ten buildings not working. Not enough workers, yes, okay. So we have wheat, which requires less water, significantly less. Decreases. Okay, so we can do. We'll do wheat, soybeans, and then wheat. Okay, so now back to our water supply here. We're gonna bring this up. Actually. Okay, so we're going to want to connect these water sources. So we'll start with that, and we will build a water tower just in case. And then we're going to need to build a power cable. There. Okay, um, can I... Yeah, there we go. Perfect. What is that? It's not machine parts. Oh, it's electronics. Okay. The analysis tells us that we've found iridium-rich sulfides. Ooh. That's a real rarity on Earth. Mankind's ingenuity had found a myriad of applications for it, but we focused the plan, our plan on much simpler, more vital role in our colony. Reduce the cost of physics techs by 10%. Sweet. Okay, got those scanned. Oh, there's a ton of water up here. What is this? 10,000 water? Oh, I guess, okay, fair enough. I guess it doesn't matter until this is up and running. So we're the idea is we're gonna build a water line that comes up this and hooks in and ties 
all of our water and oxygen together, I guess. And hope that that doesn't, you know, if something breaks. Actually, we could just tie it all together there because we can use a... A tunnel? Yes, we can use a tunnel. So we can rotate our tunnel. Oh, that's too far over there. Resources are low. To there? That'd probably work. Okay, what who's low on power? Are you low on power? Total consumption, 44 stored power, total demand. Uh, where's generation? Max produced? Okay, so you're, you're like right on the limit. Ah, okay, so we have power issues over here at night. Okay. So let's go ahead and... First things first, let's shut you guys off at night then we can build a power cable do that and we can Keep forgetting I gotta hit hold shift. And we can rotate. Can I not cancel these once they start? There we go. What's it? Delete. That makes sense. So we go there, there, and we rotate and go there and there. And then is there a way to, yeah, let's bump the, There we go. Get one of those going again. How are these guys doing now? They're doing better, okay. So we're gonna need more drones for sure. Research complete. Um, yeah. So we're going to want to do a cable. Okay, I guess we're gonna need to need to flatten that out. Okay, hang on. Can I undo cables? Probably not. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, let's just bring the cable. This way. There, we'll do it that way. Ooh, nice. Research is good. Uh oh, we got hypothermia. 
I afford to build? I can. Build O2. Our colonists are suffering from hypothermia. Dome features heaters, which maintain a pleasant temperatures of 23 degrees Celsius uh, around the clock, protecting against fluctuating temperatures. The temperature inside the dome quickly decreased. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, over here. Wait, who's over here? Two people. Okay, two people moved over here. They're okay. Oh yeah, there we go. The guy's dropping them off. So you you have ten. Okay. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable advanced commercial. Advanced, no. Uh, this one. Rockets and shuttles require less fuel. That sounds really good. That's also going to be a really good one. Uh, I think that'll do it for this episode, though. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Remember to have a great day, and keep smiling.